Hey guys, it's Shalisa and I am back with another hair video. So I posted this photo on Instagram and a lot of you asked me how I achieved this hairstyle. <laughs> well, this is the thing. It's extremely painfully simple and so I did not want to insult your intelligence and make a video just about that. I had to make it about something else too. So if you are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell if you love hair videos. And oh, I know that a couple of you are going to ask me about my lipstick. So I'm actually wearing, these both are from Victoria Beckham, it's the Posh Lipstick. I have Pixie in the center, which is a really, really light nude, I've been wearing that. And then I put a little bit of, this one is called Fringe, on the edges. And that just gives me a little bit of like lip contouring and highlighting and I think it looks so good because they're nudes and they work so well together. So anyway, I just figured I would talk about that because I know someone's gonna ask. <laughs> But besides that, let's just jump into the video. Okay, so my hair, I just shampooed it and I actually conditioned it overnight. So it's super, super moisturized. I mean, it's dry because I let it dry, <laughs> but my hair is super, super moisturized. So um, I'm actually gonna show you what I used. Let me just put my hair away. I love using, this is the Oribe Gold Lust shampoo it's my favorite shampoo because it's super moisturizing so i can actually detangle with this shampoo and then i love this one it's from pure zero and it's called the coconut milk moisturizing conditioner smells really good has really great conditioning properties i'm trying to look at lenny <laughs> has really great conditioning properties and um i don't remember it being too expensive it was at whole foods um so it's more on the natural end of hair care but uh yeah i used that and then i just let it soak in overnight here's lenny because he can't help but be lenny and yeah so i basically i rinsed it out just now well not just now like five hours ago <laughs> so my hair is completely pretty much dry at this point so i'm gonna have to wet it and um, I'm just taking this spray mister. This is from Pattern. I saw this at Whole Foods. It's Alafia, Alafia, beautiful curls, curl defining gel with virgin coconut oil, wavy to curly. And I just wanted to try something new, like a new hair product. It smells really good, kind of like tropical coconut. It smells really like comforting. So I basically, I'm running low on my, it's the Mayel, I think something in honey, pomegranate and honey. I love the way it gives my hair definition, but it's so sticky and I love to touch my hair and I can't touch my hair. So then I went to the Hawaiian ginger and I loved that, but I was running low. I was just literally gonna rebuy it and then I figured let me just try this and then I'll probably still end up buying, rebuying the Myel one because it just gives me superb definition but I just wanted to try it because you know it was there. It was there and it was 25% off um, for some Whole Foods sale or whatever so I figured I would just try it. So anyway, let's, I like to do my hair in sections and I like to start in the back so I don't think I need to be super perfect in defining this. I love these, uh, s these are actually silk scrunchies from Slip. They're super expensive, so you can get an alternate alternative um, on Amazon or something, just like a satin scrunchie, but it doesn't pull your hair. Um, but this one is like pure silk. So that's probably why it's so expensive. I don't know. So anyway, let's spray. Um, it feels good to be filming a video. Uh, you love to see it. A lot of people asked, um, I posted this photo on my Instagram and a lot of people asked me um, how I did that style and it's so simple that it, I almost feel like it's insulting to film this video. But at the same time, I really wanted to try this product and I figured what if the product is bomb? Might as well show you on camera and we, we'll all do it together. What are you eating? Now that my hair is wet, I love this. Creole Essence, black owned company, uh, Haitian black castor oil, goat milk hair, 
milk. Goat. Go okay. <laughs> Haitian black castor oil, goat and coconut hair milk. And I love this stuff. It just makes my hair so soft. So I think for a section this large, let's go with, I think that's good. And I find that it cocktails really well with other products. Maybe I should have tested it in my hands first before I just put it all over that section. So I still have some on my hands. I'll take some of that alafia and then you just blend it together. If it starts to coagulate, it's probably gonna turn clumpy. It's it's doing, it's not coagulating, but it's definitely, oh, oh, it's not bad. It's not bad, um, but it has the potential to start clumping. So we'll test that out too. But that's just my leave-in and it's just gonna have to work, you know? So I tend to either detangle with my fingers like this and then kind of just do like the smoothing prayer kind of motion with the leave-in. Or sometimes I'll take a wide tooth comb. This one's a pattern one. And then just start at the ends and very gently detangle. So it just depends on my, my method for the day. Um, but for the most part, I like to use fingers. I had been wearing my hair straight for about three weeks. So I straightened it, like straight. I straightened it, rocked that for like a week, and then I re-straightened it the week after and, and left it straight for two weeks. So that way I could really see all of the, um, I had a lot of split ends because my hair is super dry. I just moved to the desert. So I'm still trying to figure out the right balance of, I guess, moisture and, and styles that my hair can handle in the sun, you know? Um, so I had a lot of splits and I had, I guess some like, some some fairy knots which are the single strand knots and i had a lot of uneven growth so i ended up cutting i don't want to say quite a bit but in general i am extremely scissor happy i love a fresh pair of shears and just to go at it oh oh my god it gives me pure joy i know you guys are probably like what <laughs> but i really i really enjoy cutting hair and I will practice on myself and I will just, I will cut maybe sometimes two, three inches just for the fun of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle this section and start with the product. I'm gonna take like a clump, kind of what I would normally. I'm curious to see if it's like super, uh, if it has a lot of slip to it, cause that's what my main. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God, it has the most slip. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. So it's super slippery, which means that the product and my fingers literally just glide right through. Now, my only question is, is it gonna give me enough holds? Because sometimes I do need a thicker formulation so that way I get the most definition is why I love Eco Styler Gel. It gives me that like that, it's just that thickness. I guess it's, what is it called? PVA or P, P, something that's in the Eco Styler that creates that like thickness that really helps to clump hair together. I worry that this is a little thin as a product. So I'm not sure if it's giving me maximum definition. Okay, I needed a mirror. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I, okay, this, these are like my first initial, initial thoughts. Extreme slip. I mean, the most slippery that you can get, but very thin formulation. So I really do kind of think that it's not going to give me the definition that I want, which is sad. Um, but you know what, ingredients wise, I do wonder if this would be a great kind of layering product. So say I put this on first, just to get that really good detangle, let all these good ingredients soak in has, um, actually I should read them. The first ingredient is chamomile extract. Then there's yarrow, um, aloe vera juice, xanthan gum, sucrose, there's castor oil, 
And then there's water, fragrance, coconut oil, panthenol, and an agave nectar. So extremely simple ingredient, ingredients and um, just a very kind of clean formulation. So I wonder if this would be really great as like a layering product or you know what, like sometimes this reminds me of how I used to kind of apply product and the way it would feel in college. So I would, uh, for the most part, I don't know how to get rid of that. There we go. So I would, for the most part in college, just, um, do a lot of wash and goes and I would use just conditioner. So I would use the OGX conditioner. Um, just let my hair, like just drench my hair in that and then just let it dry. That was my method in college. Nothing else. No styler, nothing. It was just conditioner, let it go. And um, I liked the way that looked. It gave me it gave me soft definition, but it was also defined. So let's get a little bit more of the leave-in. So this is what that this is what it this feels like is that it's giving me that soft definition, but incredibly moisturizing and like smoothing, if that makes sense. So Hmm. Um, oh, also, the front of my hair, this is what happens when I keep it straight. So uh, it looks like it's not going to curl, and it probably won't right now, but um, it usually just ends up doing it later. I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to explain that to you, but right now I think it's a little traumatized, but it, it'll, it'll come back. It usually always does. So I'm just gonna go in with the with the Alafia, the styler gel. And then just kinda go at it. So basically also a reason I was keeping it straight was that I found that I don't know, I had been wearing my hair in braids and yet somehow it wasn't doing my hair any justice. Like usually when I want to have a good break or you know when I want to see some length retention, I'll keep my hair in braids and my hair was growing and I was getting length but it really wasn't, um, I don't know, It my hair wasn't, it didn't feel the most healthy and it wasn't making sense to me and I usually... I just remember how long my hair used to be in high school when I used to get it done every week. My hair used to be so healthy, but it, she was straightening it every week. And back then, I didn't care about my curl pattern, but the health of my hair was great. And it was long and it was thick, like, I mean, mid-back, like, bra length, you know? And then here I am wearing it curly or keeping it in braids and protective styles and it just was not working. Like it wasn't, it wasn't making my hair healthier. And so I was like, okay, let me just, I'm just going to wear it stretched out. So I could put it in ponytails or I could wear it out half up, half down. And then at least I can monitor the ends and see what's going on. So I wasn't curl, I wasn't straightening like every day or anything like that. But it was that one week and then the week after. So I straightened twice in a two week span, but I left it straight for three weeks. Um, so yeah, the front of my hair, the perimeter, like my hairline is always just like so dramatic and so traumatized. And then the middle of my hair is just like, girl, calm down. You'll see the end or the, the perimeter kind of act stupid, but also the you know my perimeter of my hair is the lightest it's the blondest it's the thinnest the most fragile it's the weakest so it's just fine fine hair like my perimeter is just fine and then the center of my hair is just much more coarse so it's absolutely going to react to being straightened or to to heat um much differently and that's fine you know what, that's the point in the versatility of hair. I just absolutely refuse to be locked into one or two styles or three styles or cover it up and wear wigs just because I want to protect it. Like, no, I really do love my hair and I love wearing my hair out. And I just, I don't know, I absolutely refuse to just be limited. But I do really care <laughs> a lot about my curls and the integrity and the health of my hair. So 
I have to find a balance between wanting to wear my hair sleek or straight, you know, and, and not damaging the, the curl pattern because that is very important to me. So anyway, I am feeling like this styler is giving me much more slip than the actual leave-in conditioner that I, I've been using. I love the leave-in because it does have a lot of great ingredients and nutrients for your hair to keep it nice and, and strong. But it's not the most slippery leave-in conditioner that I've ever used. Um, I just really, really, really like it. But this, this styler is giving me literally just, oh my God, so much slip, so much life. So I'm breezing through this pretty fast. Um, I don't really, it doesn't take me too much effort to, to do a wash and go. <laughs> if my hair wasn't, um, if I didn't let it dry and go to the post office and pick up some lashes and eat breakfast, you know, I could cut out the whole spraying misting situation and I'd probably be almost done, but that's fine. So yeah, you'll definitely see me with my hair um, st straighter more often than you're used to seeing me with my hair straight. And it's just because, you know, I don't, I just love variety and I'm going to, I'm going to just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm. I don't want to say experimenting because I've done a lot of experimenting with my hair, but you know, one thing I know for certain is my hair does not tolerate hair color. Me and hair color don't work out, and that's fine. But me and he, we we can have a relationship. You know, I can't see you every day. I can't see you all the time, but we can pop in. It's a toxic relationship, but I love it. Yeah, if I can get through the middle of my hair, the way I'm getting through this middle section of my hair, this styler is the juice, okay? I was rehabbing while it was straight, AKA cutting things and making it look more even. And I swear, after I did that and, and went to curly, um, after it being straight like that, and, and cut and like, I don't wanna say chopped up, but, <laughs> And chop it up a little bit. My hair never looked so defined and so healthy and so like just curly. It looked so good. So I was like, yeah, I gotta, <laughs> Instagram needs to see this. <laughs> and y'all loved it, which, thanks. So I could have actually just used the product that I used in the photo, which was the Mayel Ginger. But like I said, I wanted to try this one out and I figured since I've never used this product. Be nice kind of first impressions product video. I actually, I wanted to take some photos in these um, new parachute underwear that I was gifted. They actually also sent me two, I guess kind of like gift cards that I could give out. And each gift card has a free panty. On there like you can purchase a free panty with the gift card um, so I'm supposed to shoot that today so that way I could post it on my insta and like do a whole giveaway but I wanted um, kind of like a middle part and a long braid I'm gonna wait on that I'm gonna wait to shoot that because it's just the vision that I have you know if you guys like giveaways I will be doing that giveaway free panties on my insta so Follow me on Instagram so you can keep up since I post a lot more on Instagram than I do on YouTube because YouTube uh, tries to play me. Not like my subscribers, but like the actual platform. So I, I live on Insta. I'm there always posting on stories or I hate this like line of light. It's murdering me right now. If you want to keep up with me there since I'm still trying to figure out what the heck is going on with my actual YouTube channel. I'll still be posting here. It just gives me a lot of, uh, I don't know what the word is, anxiety? I don't know. Sadness? <laughs> Versus Instagram where I just feel, I feel like a happy place. Like, I feel like I can actually interact with people and people actually see what I post. Versus YouTube, no one can see it and people are saying that they're getting unsubscribed and that they're not purposely doing it but 
something in the algorithm of the thing and the whatever, so. And the movement? I mean, the movement. The movement, you know? I like it, I like it. I'm curious to see how it's gonna dry, but I like it. So, next part is I like to, I'm gonna take some, a little bit of Eco Styler gel. Probably not necessary. Let me um, see real quick though. So, all I did in that photo, what you're gonna need is a scrunchie. <laughs> and you're gonna wanna, did I have this part out too? I'm trying to figure out if this part was out. I'll leave it out for a sec and then just see. And then I just put it in a ponytail. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> that, was, that was it. it was... So, like I said, I felt like <laughs> filming just this was incredibly insulting. Uh, because you guys are just better than this. But people were asking... And I felt, like I said, this was a great time to, um, I guess, showcase a new product. I don't know how many people have seen this or tried it, but I was curious. So all I do is basically go from the ear. And then before I even lock in the like positioning, try to see how... The hair fans out on the side because if I take too much and put it up it do you see how it changes the shape it makes it a little flatter so I manipulate and play around to see okay I like a little bit more volume let's leave a little bit more down there um, and just see how that's gonna gonna look but generally I just like more volume on the sides makes my hair look bigger more full and then just take a look to see, okay, how much hair is there. And then what I like to do is just secure the back. So that way I'm not pulling once I start to pull this hair up. Like once I want to scrunchie it, I'm not grabbing hair from the back. This is what tends to happen if I just leave it all out. So what I'm going to do next is, because like I said, this product is thin, this is what's going to happen. My hair is just not going to clump. And, and stay sleek. So Eco Styler, she's here. So just taking a small amount of that. I was gonna leave the sides down, but I think I'm gonna keep the sides up like that. And I don't wanna put too much Eco Styler, but just enough to really lay it and sleek it. And I like to do it while it's wet. If you do it while it's dry, you're gonna, it's gonna be a nightmare. So make sure your hair is still wet with the products and everything in it. Just a little bit there. And then just take like a boar bristle brush. Uh, this one's from Orbe. It's hundreds of dollars. <laughs> so you can really just go to the beauty supply store and get one for like five. If you want. Unless you want this extremely high quality wooden natural boar bristle brush <laughs> from Orle for I think $230, which I love is my favorite brush, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffling. I am, um, I have carpet in my room and I suffer when there's carpet. I'm so used to like living with hardwood floors. Um, cause it's easy to like mop and vacuum, but carpet, it like collects everything. Even when you vacuum, it's just not enough. So my allergies go crazy. Um, so I'm going to be mindful of it, but excuse me if you hear a sniffle or two. It's just my nose. Okay. I think that's nice and sleek. Um, I like to play it, place it fairly far back instead of just like on top. Cause then I look like an actual poodle. And I don't like that. So taking this is a pattern scrunchie actually, but you can get like a goodie one, like a whole pack of goodie ones. Just make sure that they don't have the metal piece because that's the whole thing. The metal piece is what rips your hair out. This is a continuous hair band. And then I kind of pull the front, make that nice and flat. Okay, so we have that situation going on. Nice. 
Next, we wanna do the edges while everything's still wet. So I've been using this edge fixer. It's from Kiss and it was part of the Sweetie collection. So this one is just the cherry, very cherry kind and it has biotin in it. So I don't know, I use it. I'm gonna take this edge brush. So this is also, this is from Pattern and just take a little bit just do my edges real quick while everything's still wet and sleek i hate to style anything um while my hair is still while my hair is dry because that's how you create damage sometimes i like a like a little curl that happens right here but let's just smooth it in today and then i just like to smooth this up and then take a little bit here, take this little curl piece, and then just smooth that down. Boom. So smooth it up, and then take this little curl piece. I mean, this isn't like rocket science, but you know, style it however you want to. Okay, I'm gonna take the rest out and then evaluate the shape. So. That looks fine, I think. Um, I've actually, oh my goodness. <laughs> I've actually started diffusing my hair as opposed to just letting it, just like blowing it out with the nozzle. And the definition's unreal. Okay, yeah, 100 years later, you're just discovering diffusing, sure. But it works. So let me go ahead and get my blow dryer. I mean, look at the movement though. Oh. Huh. Okay, be right back. Okay, so this blow dryer, this is a T3 Curvalux, Curvalux. It has five different heat settings. It has two speeds, high, low, and then there's a cool button. And it also has an auto shut off if you let go. So um, while I'm blowing, say like the blow section by section, if I'm, you know, blowing it out, out. Um, I don't have to turn it off. I can just sit it down, shuts off automatically, and the moment I pick it back up and I have my hand on these sensors here, it turns back on. So, <laughs> it's the future. Anyway, has this diffuser, and this is how I've been diffusing. So, I like to do maybe like a medium heat and on high setting because patience is not my strong suit. So, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, diffuse, <laughs> and I'll be right back. So my hair is about, I would say like 95% dry, except for like in this deeper middle region right here, but it's not that deep and you'll never see it. But my hair dried to a real nice crisp and you love to see it. I love a hard drying gel because I feel like it just gives you that much more definition for longer. So I'm very impressed and shocked that this thin formula really gave me definition and dried really really nice and hard so what I like to do next now that it's pretty much dried and it's like set in place right I like to use an oil so there are a lot of options I like this one from Camille Rose which is the Nangai and Subaki strength restore oil this one's great uh, this one from Way. it's just hair oil they also have the rose hair oil this one's nice uh, this one from Pattern, it's jojoba oil hair serum, and I really, my favorite oil of all time <laughs> is the Orbe Goldless Nourishing Hair Oil. It's just bomb, it smells good, it's extremely lightweight and very effective. So I'm going to use this one today, just do, to be a little generous, like three, three, four squirts of that, and then I like to just scrunch it in. Just like that. It's going to get rid of that hard cast that the gel formed and also just going to help to seal in any nutrients in my hair. Give me that little bit of moisture and maybe a little shine. I don't know. Who knows? My hair texture doesn't really lend or not hair texture. I'm sorry. My hair color. It's my hair color because it's so light doesn't normally get shiny. So if my hair is shiny, just know that that product like really did its thing because my hair doesn't shine. 
Okay, uh, Houston, we have a problem. We're getting uh, severe flaking. So, So I'm not sure if you guys could see it um, as I was scrunching. I know you can for sure see it on my black shirt, but I'm not sure if you guys um, are able to see it kind of like falling out of the sky. It's snowing in here. So if you wear a lot of black, what I would suggest is trying first. If you really, really want to try this product, because I really do actually really love this product. Like I love the way it made my hair feel and I love the definition and that it's like it moves because the product is so light that my hair still moves, still has a lot of body. Um, it's not weighing my hair down. Sometimes products will weigh my hair down so I get a really strange shape. Um, this is not doing that. So I like the product. I think what could be a really good solution is applying the oil. So do your leave-in, do your oil and then uh, do your gel and see if that will help to mitigate a little bit of the flaking. What you could also do is do a, um, like a spray oil, like a oil sheen sort of situation. Um, see if that will help with the flakes and or just maybe like don't play too much around with your hair if you're wearing like straight black because this is crazy. <laughs> This is wild, but I really do, I really do like the product, so that, that's just something that, I guess that's the drawback. My hair feels soft, but it feels defined also, like, I can feel each piece of definition, it's incredible. Um, I'm gonna go back in again so you guys can see. Like, honestly, look at this definition. It's beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. Just a little sad here that we're getting that, that flaking, but the definition is gorgeous. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's like a whole head of perfect curls. So here's the finished look. Like I said, super, super simple, painfully easy. I really love the products, but like I said, it gave crazy flakes. So I think there is a remedy. There is a way to fix it um, just by adding the oil before you add the gel, and that will help with some of that flaking. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep using this product because I really love the definition and the way my hair feels and it moves. It just has so much body, <laughs> you know? So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell notification, and I will catch you guys next time with another hair video. Like I said, probably that like middle part with the braid. I think that'll be really cute. So I will catch you guys next time. I love you guys. And until then, bye.